again and welcome back to 27 Fox Place. I'm starting off in the kitchen this morning. I made banana bread and some chocolate zucchini muffins this morning. I cleaned up most of the mess and ran the dishwasher and now I just need to finish putting everything away. If you're new to my channel, my name is Randy, and be sure to subscribe if you love cleaning motivation, organizing, and homemaking videos. I post new videos every week, so be sure to turn on your notifications so you don't miss the next video. I always try to clean up in the kitchen as I go, that way the food doesn't get a chance to dry out and get stuck. Of course things don't always go according to plan, so an alternative solution is to put the dishes in the sink full of soapy water. I lined the loaf pans with parchment paper across the bottom and two sides, but of course I forgot to grease the ends, so I had to use a butter knife to separate the loaf from the pan. And then I put them in the sink to loosen up the crusty bits that were stuck to the sides. It's something I learned from my grandmother. She would never waste time scrubbing dishes. She would always soak them in the sink and let the soapy water do most of the work. Of course, some scrubbing might still be necessary, but it's better to spend as little time as possible. I need to take a minute and clean the shelves in this window before the sun gets any higher. This window gets direct sunlight for about an hour or so every day, so if I don't get the window clean now, there'll be too much glare to tell if the shelves are clean. Now that I've finished taking care of the window, I can start on the dishes that need to be washed by hand. I'm using Dawn dish soap to clean the sink so that I have a place to put the dishes. Once I've washed and rinsed everything, I'll stack them on the counter to dry. I use hot water to rinse the dishes because the water will evaporate faster so the dishes dry quickly. We have a few projects around the house that we've been working on and we were looking over the files last night, so I need to put them away. The disadvantage of not having an office space is that I can't leave everything out. The advantage of not having an office space is that I can't leave everything out. If I keep things that I need to take care of out of sight, I'm likely to forget about it, so I keep everything that I'm working on in this little cubby so that it's visible but it's still out of the way. Everything that comes into the house tends to land on this countertop, so I have to dedicate a few minutes every day to making sure this hot spot is cleared off. I'm not exactly a fan of paperwork, and a stack of papers like this might look overwhelming. But because I have a place for everything, it only takes a few minutes to tidy up and get everything put away.
This glass jar isn't big enough to hold the entire bag of coffee beans, so I store what's left in the bag on the shelf in this soup tureen. Now that everything's had time to dry, I can get everything put away and clean off the countertops. I really only need to clean off the cooktop and the front of the dishwasher, but since I have everything out, I might as well go ahead and clean all the appliances at the same time. And of course, no kitchen is clean until the sink is clean and shiny. I don't clean the sink after every use, it's just not that practical. It's something I like to do at the end of the day and if I've made a particularly big mess in the kitchen. The biggest task on my list today is zone cleaning in the dining room. I'm going to clean all the decor and the main furniture pieces. And I also need to clean the upholstery on this bench and while I have the carpet cleaner out, I'll clean the area rug as well. Regular dusting is a quick way to keep things looking good, but it's not going to keep things clean. So every eight weeks or so, I like to clean the surfaces with more than just a duster. If I rinse off the fake plants with water, it keeps them looking their best without a lot of effort. So after I rinse them off, I'll leave them outside to dry. runner is made of a sort of basket material so I rinse it with water and then I use a brush to gently loosen any dirt and I'll leave it to air dry as well.
I'm using a hose attachment on the carpet cleaner to clean the upholstery. We eat dinner here every night and I spot clean the fabric whenever I notice a stain, but I try to clean the entire bench every year. I wanted to get this done in early spring with my regular spring cleaning, but I didn't have the time. And technically it's still spring for a few more weeks anyway. This room gets a lot of traffic through this back door and this carpet takes a beating. This rug is made of 100% wool and I bought it because I just love the colors. But it turns out that the color is also great at hiding the dirt that gets tracked inside. And as you'll see later, this rug was so filthy I might just clean it again. I'm using a damp microfiber cloth to wipe down the base of the bar stools before I put them up on the counter.
I ran out of time to finish everything I needed to get done, so I had to start again the next day. So after a quick reset, I started where I left off the day before. I ended up propping up the rug on the bar stools to keep the dogs off while it dried overnight. Now that the rug is dry, I can put everything back in place. And I'll vacuum the floor before I put the rug back down. One day of the week I vacuum the entire house and I'll mop the floors the following day, but I usually end up having to vacuum the first floor a second time during the week as well. The carpets stay cleaner upstairs, so I typically only need to vacuum once a week. So while I have the vacuum out, I'm going to vacuum the upstairs a little bit early so I won't have so much to do later. I like to vacuum the floors and carpets because it makes a big impact. Everything looks cleaner with fresh vacuum lines, but my mind tends to wander when I vacuum and I forget to empty the tank. <laughs>
I left everything outside to dry overnight, so I had to take a few minutes and put everything back in place. I hadn't planned on doing anything else today, but since I had cleaned the furniture in the dining room, I decided to clean the rest of the tables downstairs as well. I used a damp microfiber cloth and took an extra 10 minutes to wipe down the rest of the hard surfaces. That's all for today. If you liked this video, be sure and give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe so that you can receive notifications whenever I post a new video. Just hit the bell icon to turn on notifications and remember to turn on the notifications on your device as well. So I'll say goodbye for now and I hope to see you next time.